the American who was among the 21 killed in the terror attack at that hotel in Kenya. His name is Jason Spindler. He survived the World Trade Center attack on 9-11, only to die at that hotel in Nairobi. Surveillance cameras recording the attackers as they moved in. And tonight we have one new image emerging here. You're about to see the suicide bomber pacing in front of the hotel just moments before he detonates his suicide bomb. ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is in Nairobi for us. A man standing outside a Nairobi hotel restaurant, a worker walking past him, and then he detonates a suicide vest, the blast too graphic to show. This surveillance footage revealing how fast a normal afternoon in Nairobi turned to horror. This as we learn more about Jason Spindler, the 40-year-old American who lost his life in the 19-hour siege that claimed at least 21 lives. Spindler lived in Nairobi for the past several years doing humanitarian work. His office across the street from the hotel complex stormed by at least five terrorists who detonated multiple explosives before going in, shooting innocent bystanders. Al-Qaeda-affiliated Al-Shabaab claiming credit for the attack that killed Spindler, who was a survivor of 9-11. His parents are heartbroken. I think he's amazing, but he's my little baby. And Ian Panel reporting in tonight from Nairobi. He's outside that hotel. And Ian, I know Kenyan officials are vowing to bring justice to the remaining perpetrators, but you're also learning that this horrific tragedy could have been even worse. Yeah, that's right, David. Kenya has had to learn from past terror attacks. And miraculously, 700 people were brought out of the building behind me. But a tragedy nevertheless, and Al-Shabaab is threatening more attacks as the U.S. doubles down on its strikes against the militants in neighboring Somalia. David? Ian Panel tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.